Howdy y'all, welcome back. This is episode 3 of my Let's Play Minecraft. I am the Reverend T-Rex. Well, there we go. As you can see here, I have made us a little enchantment room. I have four levels. Now, those of you who are observant will, uh, will have noticed that at the end of my last episode I had 30 levels. Well, as I was preparing for this episode, a creeper came and blew up right in my face. That's right, two deaths now, thanks to two creepers. But in this chest, I have four pieces of armor. We're going to try to put one level on each piece of armor here. Give me a little bit of protection from those creepers. I know all these torches ain't required, but guess what? I'm doing anyway. Alright, let's go. Let's do boots first. Now for boots, I really want feather falling and other than that I don't care what's on it. So let's see. Protection 1. Go figure. Alright, now we're going to do our chest piece. Protection 1. I'm probably going to get protection 1 on everything. Protection 1. There we go. And protection 1. Alright, it works. It's going to protect me. That's the protection. There we go. I can't even see out of my helmet. What in the world? See, my eyes are on my side. My head. Well, don't I just look goofy as can be? Oh well, it's going to protect me. And you might be asking, Reverend, why do you have a bed in your inventory? Well, I'm going to tell you. We're heading over this way today. I have a build project for us here. We'll be building a horse stall slash barn for our farming area. I'm also going to show you the future entrance to our main base. And while I'm making this trip over here, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the lack of videos the past couple of days. My work schedule has made it impossible to record. I tried to on Wednesday. Today is Saturday. On Wednesday night, since I got in about 11 o'clock at night, I tried to record one, but I was just too tired. Nothing I was saying was making any sense whatsoever. So I just scrapped that recording and uh, decided to kick back on it on the weekend. So here we are. I'm going to place my bed there. Now this is where I'm going to build our, our uh, barn slash stable area. I'm wanting to take it like halfway into this big old hole that we got here. Now this is a naturally made hole. One problem. It goes pretty deep. I'm just going to go ahead and level off for the uh, the floor here. I'm just going to make it go straight through. Um, might put something down there later on. Who knows? But before we get started, let's go ahead and eat. And I'm going to show you the future entrance to our main base here. Right there. Nah, uh, I'm going to get rid of this area. I'm going to just completely destroy this all the way down to... to ground level if you will and behind it here you'll see this nice little opening in this huge mountain now this mountain is the tallest one and out of this whole area you can look out and see a bunch of different biomes from it so this is where the entrance is going to be I'm going to try to do the entire mountain fill up the inside of it with stuff and make it you know come out as much as possible but this is going to be the entrance to it Got a nice little already made moat. Look at that. Look at that. It's awesome. What's that clay or sand? Sand. Alright. I'm on a clay spree too. I'm trying to find as much as I can. This is going to be the entrance to it. Now let's get started with this build. It's going to take me a minute to get this build done. It's a fairly big barn, if you will. But, uh,. So I might just show some of the making process of it and cut out to the finished product. I don't know how long it's going to you know, run me. But here's our building materials. I spent a good while cutting down some jungle wood, some spruce wood. I think I have a little bit, a little bit too much wood here, but who knows? We'll make it, make it work. So we're going to take a bunch of this and some of this. You know what I did not bring over here? Crafting bench. Go figure. So let's go ahead and make one of them, get it planted 
going down here. Oh. But with this build, I I went on the internet and I was I was wanting to kind of go medievalish with it a little bit. Went on the internet looking for some uh, some inspiration, if you will. Found nothing really, nothing that was feasible in Minecraft. Um, there you go. So instead, I sat down for a little bit and I just planned it all out for the most part inside my head, try to figure this all out. So it's going to be very wide very deep it's gonna have a loft and inside the loft is where the, all the crafting for the farms and stuff is going to be and then the bottom floor is going to hold say comfortably it could hold six horses but I mean you could stack probably 16 in there if you wanted to to be honest with you so I'm I haven't planned out how deep it's all going to go into here so I'm just basically going to start building with well, we'll say this right here being our center point. And actually, I want the floor to be right there, too. So, that being our center point, we're going to go. Let's see, I want the entrance to be six wide, I think is what I was looking at. And normally, I try to build all this in odd numbers, but. So, but this one, for some odd reason, I started started thinking about it, and it didn't turn out to be odd numbers. So let me shove this stuff up there. Now I'm gonna try to talk throughout this entire thing. Uh, I ain't really got much to talk about. I've been working the past three three days, really, really long hours, and uh, not much has been going on at work. To be honest with you, uh, just uh, selling food, trying to make a living, you know. Oh, uh, now I'm gonna keep on going throughout the night here for the most part, unless it gets a little too crazy, just so I can uh, get some experience going. Cause I did lose those 30 levels that creeper, which really upset me, man. I raged. I laughed and I raged. It was pretty bad. Almost cried, but I refrained from the crying. Now with this, to add a little color, it's going to be out, like I said, out of those three different uh, materials. The spruce wood is going to be the majority of the woodwork. Now I, I picked jungle wood because I wanted. Oh my gosh, I'm failing. Pick jungle wood because I wanted a stone. I don't know how to explain it, a stone-like material, but I wanted it like the stone in the game just didn't fit my need. So I wanted kind of like a darker stone that looked old and cracked up and stuff. And I just I didn't think anything would look good like that. To me, is too bright. Uh, mossy's just it's too mossy if you will um, so I, I went with jungle wood it was the darkest wood I could think of that would give me that cracked look hey buddy we got the same sword we gonna fight cause I know you're coming my way so are you yeah this might get a little rough working trying to build around here at night <laughs> Give me that sword. No. Alright. Yeah, this is going to get rough. So I'm going to have to go ahead and skip now. Because I ain't going to get no building done like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. As you can see, T-Rex is blown up by a creeper. That's that latest death. Excuse me for a second. I've started feeling better. Last time we talked, I was feeling a little 
hill, if you will. But something ain't feeling right with this. We'll keep going for now, though. But oh, really? All of you got to be right there. Don't look at them. Whatever you do, don't look at them. Six. Yeah, it's really hard for me to talk and shoot bubble gun at the same time. I'm gonna walk and shoot bubble gun. This is the expression. I'm try to get this done. But I really liked the idea of, of, of a medieval stable with, you know, kind of like a blacksmith there inside the stable with me. But my Google powers are very limited, apparently. Because I could not find anything that suited my needs that would give me some inspiration. So I went with kind of an old school barn design here. Hopefully you guys will like it. I want y'all to tell me what you think about it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need some stairs. I love rounded edges, like archways. Sometimes they can get a little old, but I personally love them, so I'm going to use it for the entrance here. those down. I'll get my stairs up here. Like a soul? Hey, give me that stone wall. There we go. And then to kind of make it make sense here. Do something like that. Step back, take a look. I like it. For the side, I still gotta put. I try not to build symmetric, but a barn is a barn is a barn. You know, ain't much I can do to change that up. No, I hate running, being one short. It's always my luck. One short. But I'm. Like I said, I think I have more than enough material on me in the chest, but I don't want to go crazy with, you know, one type of wall because I will be using stone, uh, the cobblestone blocks, stairs, all that, so I don't want to go crazy too much with it. Now this is going to be our entryway, and you know what I forgot? I didn't bring any iron. So I thought about going with glass in the middle, but like I said, I wanted it to be old school. I understand they did have glass back then, but I think iron bars would look better in this case. I did not bring any iron. So now I'm going to lay out the roof top a little bit. Now for the roof, I'll be using spruce planks. So let's go ahead and make a full stack of that. Not planks, but uh, half slabs. And I'll also be doing stairs. That'll be good for now. So let's see. Here now, what do I want to do? I want to go straight across like this. I don't know if y'all watch Etho or not, but his latest episode, well actually two episodes ago now because he just uploaded one today because his internet's been down, but the two episodes ago, the episode's called T-Rex Pawn, and personally, I think he's prophesizing, is it, is it the 
that's the right way of saying it, my entrance into the Minecraft server. That's the way I look, like to look at it. I thought something looked weird. There we go. Now, that little hole there that you'll see, I'm going to put another dive on. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. Another line of these stone walls going across. One short every time. And that'll fill it up a little bit, make it give it a little texture. We all like a little texture in our lives. Kind of spruces things up a bit. Alright. Yeah, I'm liking the way that looks so far. Now I'm going with the, the traditional. I guess it's not really traditional because barns usually have more of like a an arch to them. But just a triangular. Um roof to this so for that I will be using this these and I'm going to need stairs so actually, let me go make some stairs real quick not too many stairs but spread it out evenly all right and I want it to kind of jut out here a little bit so like right there is going to be the bottom of the roof and from there on it just you know keeps really keeps going going up a level so for this we need to there, there, then I can use a full, nope, can't use a full block there, so half slab, half slab, I guess I'll be half slabbing this up, ah, need to get on top of there. Ooh, doggy, this is gonna be fun. Oh, all right. So, why? Oh, because those are bottoms. I was wondering. I was like, why are those not the full slabs not going on there? Right. But let's see now. All right. Now just. Uh, so I can get my put that there, that there, that there. Yeah, I'm gonna be going through half slabs like crazy on this build. Which I don't mind one bit. stuff usually takes a lot of resources. I'm just joking. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I don't like that. This is where a stair is going to come in handy. Oh, I made jungle wood. No, I'm a failure. Alright. And for the very top, I'm going to put stairs to uh, kind of peek it off just right. I think I used I used jungle wood again what is wrong with me there we go actually I need four for that but whatever. let's climb on up top here no that didn't come out right something's not right Yeah, it did. All right. So 
replace the roof. Now, one thing, like I said, I want things to kind of have a dimension to them. Oh no, hurry up, it's getting dark. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but Minecraft music's going on in the background here because the wife's behind me playing Minecraft on Xbox. Yeah. Right. yeah, this build's going to take a while, so what I'll do is I'll finish up this roof here, let you all get a feel for how the front's going to look, and then I'm, I'm just going to go finish it all up and then get back to y'all once. It's done. I might give you a couple of status updates, you know, as I'm as I go along here. Story of my life. I guess I should just overdo the materials. This is my first build, so bear with me. I'll eventually learn how everything goes. I don't like that. I gotta do something about that. There we go. This will be the front. I'm also going to I'm gonna use glowstone on this the front of it just to uh um Uh, like two lights on the front. Wow, I failed. So use that as two different lights, you know, up front and on the back side as well. The front and the back are gonna look exactly like. I need to do something with my inventory. I can't seem to. Uh, Oh, what am I trying to make? Oh, I need sticks. That's right. I'm trying to make fences. I think, right? Minecraft new. Yeah, there we go. Fences. So, go ahead and do that. I I want to finish up this. Uh, I did it again. I'm going to finish up this barn. Hopefully give you all a couple of status updates as I go along. And I will see you all in a bit. And welcome back, guys. Finally, after many hours of working on this project, it is complete. And there it is. There's the front of it. The building part of it actually didn't take too long. I'll go in there and I'll show you what took forever here in a second. And as you can tell, I started me a little cow farm up because, yeah, it was just getting a little crazy. Um, kill this guy. One, having to sleep at night. I tried a couple nights to do it without sleeping and it just got ruined. But let's go inside. So inside here we have hay storage and water storage. And then here are the horse stalls. Like I said, you could fit probably four in there comfortably in each one, I'd say, you know. But there are many more could be fit in there. And I couldn't figure out how to make these two independent of each other. So if I stepped on this one, that one went down. If I stepped on that one, that one went down. So they are combined. So step on it, it goes down. Let's the horse in. Come back out. Closes up. Now down here, I'm going to have storage for all the horse type material. You know, armor, saddles, leads, hay, sugar, stuff like that. Uh, go up top here, and this is going to be for the farming side of things. I have storage chests along each side here to fill up with, you know, food, anything that I get from the farm side of this along with storage there and crafting and smelting and 
all that good stuff these are mainly here for decoration but if I'm in the area I can still use it I have a bed here as well so this is the inside of it this part didn't take too long to build like I said I had plenty of resources I still got plenty of resources left from the build what took forever are these hay bales oh my gosh whenever you don't have any wheat farms or you know a surplus of wheat already making all these hay bales took for an eternity so that's what's taking so long it is actually Sunday right now so the next day I, st I spent I don't know three hours last night and I live streamed the actual build of the of the stable slash barn I live streamed that and uh that took about an hour and a half to build it all and then I made some adjustments so that took another 30-45 minutes the rest of the time was spent farming this wheat now I, I did end up making this entire bank along this pond here into a wheat farm as you can see it's still growing back the soil is I even made some more water lines through here to try to help uh, speed the process up Whew, it took forever. I took a 45 minute break, I'd say in total, and went and farmed some bone meal from the skeleton spawner that I found. And that is why I have no armor on, actually. That broke my armor. I broke my diamond pick doing all this. And I went through here and covered up a lot of the stone that was showing. I still have some left to do, as you can see. And an Enderman must have got that. That's the only thing I can think of. Speaking of which, that's probably the culprit right there. He just grabbed a... What a jerk. I hate them so much. But I want to go back in here. I need some suggestions from you guys. I cannot figure out a good lighting technique for this. Um, torches are fine because I wanted to kind of go medieval-ish with it. You know, not modern so old school you know so torches will be fine but this <clears throat> I actually recently just changed these torches around to provide more light right in this area before that though this was pitch black almost this whole like big circle right here was pitch black and I would always have nasty little surprises every time I, I if I walked over there to grab some wheat I come back nasty surprise um Surprisingly, the build only got blown up like twice by creepers, I think it was. Up here is fine. Uh, the block lighting for the entire upper level is 8 or above. So I'm good there. It's just that bottom little section there that I need some... Oh, there's like one or two blocks right here. I think. If I remember right, I might have fixed that too. Oh, it looks like I fixed it. But yeah, like right here underneath the stairs and forward is all seven. So I want to get seven or below. So I want to get that fixed. I think inside here is fine. I don't think I've checked it actually, but it should be good to go. Yeah, it's all good to go. If I just mirrored, or I don't know if it mirrored is the right word, I just flip flopped the designs for inside the stables. Hold on, I got a cough. So I just flip-flop those, and we use item frames here to uh, show what's in each chest. But yeah, I actually managed to get 32 levels off that zombie, or not zombie, but skeleton spree I went on. And I recorded enchanting this pick, but I didn't have my headset plugged in because I was watching YouTube videos and stuff while I was uh, farming wheat this morning so I didn't there's no audio to it so that's why I'm just not even going to show it but I wanted a nice work pick put 30 levels into it wanted a nice work pick I got one I'm breaking 3 efficiency 4 so I was, I was happy about that I'm going to go put that up before I lose it actually uh, my inventory is all jacked up I've just been throwing random stuff in these two for right now but yeah that's the build um I have learned some things from doing this. Um, one, I'm probably going to show build the building process on recordings now. 
one, it makes, um, basically, it's a filler item. You know, I can sit here and talk to you guys while I do it, and you guys can see what's going on in my head while, while I'm building all this up. Didn't actually do too much re redesigning on this. It, it came pretty straightforward, which I was surprised. I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. Need to go to the nether. First trip to the nether, we're going to get grab some glowstone to put right there and right there. But other than that, this build is completed. So, like I said, if you guys can give me some comments on some lighting ideas for down there, I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Next time we come back, I'll probably start building a couple little farms around here. Not quite sure on the layout I want to use yet, but I do you know, want to have cow, sheep. No, probably not going to have a pig farm. Um, wheat. And, yeah, we'll stick with, and chickens. I'll probably get some chickens too. So I'll get those farms up and going. Um, also, we'll go on the quest for our first horse. But I have to do some mining and try to find a saddle before we can do that. So hopefully I'll do some mining off camera before the next episode and get us a saddle to use. Because I don't think... No, I just got name tags. That's right. From my first mining experience didn't get any saddles all right i wanted to go ahead and go on to the starter base that down there and we'll read our comment for today all right and we're back um here's the comment for today now i don't think before i get into that i don't think i ever showed you guys this me building the redstone for this um i did that on wednesday night which was the day I got, you know, back from work and was just too tired, wasn't making too much sense, didn't talk too much. So I scrapped the video, but simple push button goes down, comes back up. It's really, I mean, I like it. It, it serves its purpose in keeping mobs out. And it's mob proof for the most part. I mean, I can sit here and farm XP at, during the night if I can get a big zombie train or something like that coming, but I haven't tried it yet. But all right and for our comment today we got only got one it's from the sonic jew it says glad you got your sound issue sorted bud keep the good content coming i did get it s sorted uh i hope it sounded better and i hope you guys can see an improvement with each and every episode whether it be you know my gameplay my building style my commentary technical sides of things i know like today i think you might see a little bit of fps issues going on in the video i am rendering another episode for uh, my let's play splinter cell blacklist right now so that might be the cause of that uh, i have seen the fps drop a little bit while recording this so you might see that but hopefully you guys see slight improvements each and every episode and uh if you guys have any suggestions for me, you know, feel free to drop a comment and let me know what it is, and I'll try my best to, you know, work with that suggestion to improve myself and improve my channel. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you if you have enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button down below for this video, and I will see you guys next time.